hello dear viewers uh, we we have got elvin gomes with us today uh, he is the congress candidate from a very crucial seat in goa uh, panji the capital of the state and uh, uh, he is the uh, face of congress in this constituency so we'll be interviewing him briefly for uh, next few minutes and we'll be posing him some questions that he'll be answering for us uh, thank you so much elvin sir for giving us the time uh, i like it i like to keep it short uh, first question i'll ask you is you have been the state convener of aam aadmi party before and now you have come here in the congress and you have got the ticket for contesting the uh, one of the most crucial seats in the goa so uh, how do you uh, describe this uh, journey from aap to congress candidate my journey in aap came to an end more than a year ago and that's history now and i have given enough uh, reasons why i have uh, quit all that and come into the congress the congress also the journey was not abrupt but like i did not jump from uh, aam aadmi party into congress i took a gap of around 8 months and after discernment and after consultation and at the invitation of our leader uh, rahul gandhi ji i have joined the congress so it's a it's a it's a different situation congress is ideology is very strong intact secular constitution values everything holds good for the congress uh, up uh, we felt that time the values were changing everything was changing the what the ideals uh, with which the party was bo- born uh, th- they are not existent anymore okay uh, we have been here for two days and we have uh you know uh, surveyed in our own way your constituency and the capital city uh, people uh, talk about uh, development not being done in the last few years and you know uh, despite congress being in rule for so many years and then bjp coming they still complain of development so what is your message to the people of this constituency and why they should you know uh, come and support you my concept of development is something different uh, development of the people is the primary concern Con- congress is out of power since the last 10 years so we shouldn't even be talking about it and in 2012 the uh, people voted for the bjp uh, because they did not want the congress now bjp's performance at least in the last 5 years has been disastrous and that is what is palpable you can feel it that the people's anger has uh, is so high that they want the bjp out so when it comes to development i look at it as the human development the empowerment of the youth you know giving him Im- economic impetus uh, putting money into the hands of people giving some sustainability uh, livelihoods this is what development is all about besides that yes we know that uh, we understand is a capital city and it requires good infrastructure proper water supply good roads uh, traffic management all these issues are there and they are growing by the day and the bjp has failed to do anything about it okay uh, talking about it one of the uh, disadvantages that you have uh, is people are saying that uh, you know this constituency is being dominated by manohar parikar and then his son is being denied ticket this time and he is against you as an independent candidate uh, how will that affect you plus people uh, have also been murmuring about you know uh, you being an outsider and not from panji uh, as a local boy and he gets the tag of being the local boy and the son of mr parikar see first i will answer the question about mr parikar and his son uh, trying to you know impress upon the people about the legacy of mr parikar uh, i am not a politician mainstream politician i am just a simple man who is here to do some development in the city because i believe that i have the necessary expertise to do that i come here only on merit and people who know me well will vouch for the fact that i can uh, do all these things on merit of the case i am not here to do any political battle what they are facing in the bjp is a battle for uh, occupying the space in the bjp mr utpal parikar was denied the space by his higher ups in the bjp uh, which is trying to regain through by coming as an independent so i am not on that i am only on the my own merit and the congress party has recognized my merit and therefore they have filled me in a prestigious seat uh, like panaji and therefore i am taking the battle forward coming to the second uh, issue which you have raised about my self being an outsider i'll tell you goa's geography is just 3702 square kilometers and in that if there cannot be any person who is a goan uh, uh, can be categorized as an outsider 99.9% of the people resident in this town have come from some village or the other and settled here i am staying here for the last 22 years and my entire service career of uh, 22 years has been spent here in the city of panji so how can anyone on earth even consider that i am uh, outsider uh, i may be outsider physically be- by virtue of being born in another village in goa but i am here 
and all this is created by the opposition just to discredit discredit me but my merit holds holds very good and people have accepted me uh, like you said it's about uh, taking up places in bjp that is why uh, you know all the confusion is there uh, talking about the same in your own party uh, people and uh, party loyalists have uh, you know not been so satisfied about the ticket distribution on in, on your own itself uh, talking about royala fernandez and surendra uh, fertado and Uh, other people they have been uh, showing dissent about giving uh, get you getting the ticket ahead of them uh, so what do you have to say about that here basically it's not royal or royal is from another constituency i don't think that is a problem but here mr surendra furtado and uh, mr uday madkaikar have publicly shown dissent uh, i do not know why they have to do that if, if they were true congress uh, congress persons they would have uh, by now been backing the congress candidate irrespective of who gets the ticket i have got the ticket on my own merit the party must have had their uh, consideration why they had to give ticket to elvis gomes to contest from panjim but nevertheless i can assure you that uday madkaikar also has met with our leaders and uh, everything is settled i personally had three rounds of meetings with him and all the the misunderstandings have been cleared as far as suren furtado is concerned he has tried to be neutral but uh, we have been in uh, talks and uh, i am sure that in the coming days he will be with me only a couple of more questions to you uh what if you win what next what is the agenda and what is what are your plans for this constituency and the people of this constituency uh i am poised to win uh, my plans immediate plans are to remove the fear factor which is overwhelming and uh, which is uh, troubling the people people are living in fear uh, see when we got liberated from the colonial rule we decided to be part of india and uh, be a democratic uh, be the part of the democratic process in democracy you have you have to have your voice you have to have the freedom of expression you media are uh, knowing, knowing that well and this is what i'm saying is because this constitution gives me the right to speak to you people are living in fear i want to take that fear away i want to make people participate in the process of governance their voice will matter they will decide what uh, they need in their particular areas and they co- collectively will decide what the city needs once those voices are heard and they are captured and documented that is what the development will be all about this is what i want to achieve uh talking about democracy we have been also hearing about uh, you know uh, communalism politics that is coming into goan politics and uh, we also heard this is going to be the first time where communalism will play a role in the uh, election results of the goa how much do you agree with that this is a last uh, you know attempt by the bjp to somehow retain power and uh, goa has been communally very harmonious uh, right from the beginning even during portuguese uh, regime uh, we were living in harmony absolutely there had been no problem and the last 60 years of since liberation we have never had any communal disturbances but now uh, it is uh, seen because i can give you one example recently in a village of sankwal where some uh, so called hardliners and right wingers try to create a disturbance in a church uh, but uh, the goan public are wise they will not allow communalism to creep in yeah and i can tell you the even the chief minister had the audacity to talk about uh, rebuilding temples which were destroyed according to him he has no knowledge actually uh, according to him which were destroyed during the portuguese time i think this kind of fomenting communal trouble has to be completely nipped in the bud and this is the time through the power of the ballot uh, the people will teach them okay one final question to you mr uh, gomes is uh, how many seats do you think your party will win in this election and one more important thing which most of the people are curious to know whether uh, just if the need arises will your party will collab will your party collaborate with tmc or aam aadmi party to form the government in the state i will win my seat how many seats more the party will get uh, i would roughly like you know more or less uh, take a judgment call of uh, if we get 22 it's uh, really good enough if you think that uh, you know there there could be sh- uh, shortfall and uh, from uh, if there is a hung assembly to some extent whether support will be taken from other parties and all i am not competent because i am not in the party leadership right now the party leadership will take a appropriate call if required and uh, give a good government Okay that's it from me uh, Mr Gomes thank you for joining us and giving us your precious time and we wish you all the best for your elections and the days ahead thank you, thank you.